Good afternoon, Bobcats. I'm Taylor Gerritsen. And I'm Sammy Jordan. Today we have a lineup of exciting news to share with you from our campus. First up, Vivian has the latest on the student union upgrades. Welcome back, Bobcats. Vivian Rosa here, showing you the updated student union. Jones College has made significant updates to the student union. It includes more seating areas to study and hosts game nights every Tuesday and Thursday. Let's hear more from my very own Yasmin Mackey. First year at Jones, and the student union is kind of a safe place when you want to go and study and chill with friends. The college also included a snack bar where you can check out using your Jones College student ID. Students in here every day, you know, and it's just a pleasure to be able to be here, serve these students, make sure that they start their day off with a smile and a great interaction. Be sure to check out auditions located in the student union. And also, don't forget to check out the Jones Everyday app where you can look up any menu from our dining areas. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you take advantage of all the opportunities that Jones College has offered. Vivian Russell, report for Bobcat Broadcast. Haley Shepard has the scoop of what the Jones College Choir has been up to this semester so far. This is Kat Shepard with Bobcat Broadcast, bringing you the scoop on Jones Choir's visit to the Choir Festival. On February 15th and 16th, Jones Choir traveled to the Choir Festival at Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College. 60 Jones students were able to showcase their talents and sing with six other colleges during the event held at MGCCC's Impact Center. Here is Dr. Kang, the director of the choir's thoughts on the Choir Festival. I think um, traveling with a family is the most important thing for this festival. On the first day, Jones Choir performed four songs. The songs were Luke's Arumque with soloist Addie Thames, Bogro Dizia Dievo, Oh Love, and Ain't That Good News. Dr. King chose the songs because he believes that we need to restore hope, love, and peace to our hearts. Here is a small sample of the choir at the event. <laughs> Here, Dr. King talks about his favorite part of the event. So my favorite part, one of the one, is conducting uh, with my choir. I'm, you know, not showing off, but we work hard and we want to share our, you know, musical, like, artistry. Dr. King brought his students to the event to give them a new learning experience. Here is freshman Hannah Bird, a tenor in the choir. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Um, there have been a lot of different choirs, and I love their different styles that they've uh, interjected into their performance. While the event was tiring for the choir, it is one that the choir students will always remember and will hopefully continue to participate in the coming years. I hope you enjoyed a little sneak peek into what our choir is up to. This is Kat Shepard with Bobcat Broadcast. The staff at the Union are dedicated to creating a welcoming atmosphere for students. Benjamin has more on this story. Walking into the Student Union, you'll find the Grill, Auditions, and Starbucks. This may be just a place for you to eat and hang out, but every day, workers are trying their hardest to create a welcoming and safe environment. So I believe with my role in the Star Wars community and creating more of a positive atmosphere for students to come in and for them to be able to open up and talk to me if they're having a bad day, and I always just want to make a smile and put it on their face. By building these relationships, you not only make both parties' days a little bit better, but you enrich the campus community by making it more welcoming and inclusive. I believe that I can help progress them into building that relationship with me and even making them smile, of course, and then if they're having a bad day, just asking how they're doing and just saying um, hello or thank you can be a big pat. So next time you leave the union, don't forget the friends behind the counter have a lot of stories to tell. All you need to do is strike up a conversation. A simple thank you or a fist bump to Des in the calf goes a long way. This is Benjamin Tim signing off for Bobcat Broadcast. JC Roberts is behind the scenes of our winter guard as they get ready to compete. Hey Bobcats, this is JC Roberts and today we'll be visiting the Performer Arts Building and observing winter guard in the upcoming spring season. The Fine Arts Building is where the members of Color Guard reside. This is also where they gather all of their equipment and get ready for rehearsal. My name is Meredith Owen. I'm the Color Guard Director here at Jones College. I have been involved in this activity since 2009, so this is a little over a decade that I've been involved. Um, I went to Ridgeland High School where I first started performing. Color Guard is 
basically just the visual representation of the music. So when we are in the fall with the Maroon Typhoon, we are the visual representation of what they are playing using flags and rifles, which are just wooden guns. Um, they are not real by any means. Um, and in the winter, we are completely by ourselves and we have Last year, we were very successful. We were state champions in Independent Regional A. So we were able to really push the performers this year, especially our returning members, and hold them to a higher caliber. I was originally in band and I played the trumpet and my band director told me that I, she thinks I should try out for Color Guard, so I did and I fell in love with it and I've been doing it ever since. Um, this season I think is really great. We have a really great show and uh, really great girls that are very, very compatible and I believe that we're going to do good this season. Color Guard has rehearsal every week. Their next upcoming performance is on March 9th at Northwest Rankin High School. I hope you are looking forward to Winter Guard Spring Season as much as we are. I am JC Roberts reporting for Bobcat Broadcast. Now, let's see what our Bobcat athletics have been up to. Jalen, take it away. Spring sports have come back in full swing since the beginning of the semester. First up to bat, our baseball team recently brought home four back-to-back -back wins against Baton Rouge. This brought their season record to an impressive 16-2. They will be playing an away game against East Mississippi on March 3rd in hopes of bringing home another win. Our softball team has also made an impression this season with an overall record of 12-4. On February 27th, our Lady Bobcats brought home two wins against Coastal Alabama South, with one of those wins being a complete shutout. The team has another doubleheader starting at 4 p.m. on March 5th at home against Lansing. And in other news, our basketball team has absolutely dominated their season, with one of their most recent wins being an 86-51 victory. Our men's and women's basketball teams will both face off against East Central at home on March 7th, so be sure and show your support. Speaking of our women's basketball team, our Lady Bobcats recently had a 68-50 win against East Mississippi. On another note, our women's and men's tennis teams have completely swept through their season so far. Both teams stand undefeated with an 8-0 overall record. They will be attempting to defend this record on March 6th at home against Coastal Alabama South. And ending on a high note, our cheer team won the 2024 UCA Open Co-Ed National Championship. Here's Boo Mills with more on that. Jones Bobcat Cheer have been a shining example of sport and excellence here at Jones. They have recently added their third national championship win in four years after their performance at Orlando ESPN. I met with coach Kay Ewing to discuss the team's success. There are a lot of um, things that I think played into making this year as successful as it was, but you know, most people only get to stay at a JUCO for two years, maybe three. So last year at Nationals, they had a mistake and came up short and didn't really get the outcome they wanted. So we had a very large group of sophomores and I think they kind of went into this year with a chip on their shoulder. We only had to plug in a few freshmen and I really think that they brought them up to the level that they were already at and um, set the expectation from the very beginning of the year. And um, their saying for the whole year was chase the feeling and all their, their main goal was to just go to nationals and put two great routines on the floor and that's what they did. The cheer team compete in the Open Co-Ed Division, having to compete two routines in their competition. I spoke to sophomore cheerleader Denim Lombard about their journey to Nationals. Uh, I would say the journey to Nationals was, it was hard work. You know, we uh, put in the hours, we put in the reps, uh, even when days went bad, we tried to look on the bright side and, you know, just come together and just focus on the big thing and that was hitting, hitting twice. Jones managed to score the highest they ever have with a score of 92. This is the first year that Jones have scored above a 90 and beat their competitors by 6 points. I've been Boo Mills reporting for Bobcat Broadcast. That's all for today Bobcats. I'm Taylor Gerritsen. And I'm Sammy Jordan. You're watching Bobcat Broadcast.